Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. This is the last and final video on inventory control and stores management. So far, 16 problems I have explained in this uh, session. Now in this video, the 17th and the last problem on this inventory control and stores management. So before starting the problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot of the points which I have written, then I'll explain all the points in detail. Come on, see the 17th one. Categorize the inventory as ABC based on the usage of item using ABC analysis. So far we have done the problems on calculating the EOQ, stock levels, etc. But this last problem is on selective control. That means inventory control by selective method. Different selective methods I have explained in the last theory videos like ABC analysis, XYZ analysis, VED analysis, FNSD analysis. Now, this problem says item number 101, 102, 103 up to 110. Unit cost is given and the annual demand is also given. For this 10 items, we have to classify the items among A category, B category and C category. A category items are those items whose quantity is less but the value is more. And C category is exactly opposite. Quantity is more but the value is less. So in between A and C, we have the middle class, that is B class. In that B class items, we categorize the items which are having moderate, that means medium value and medium items. Now how to proceed with classifying A, B, C? Now I'm going to explain. First table, calculation of annual consumption value, A, C, V. Annual consumption simply means the multiply the units with the number of units, that means demand. Unit cost and demand we multiply. The first column item number 101 to 110. The annual demand is given in units. So this 48,000, 2,000 are all the units. And the unit cost is this one, 51115. Multiply the demand with the cost per unit will get the total cost or we can call it as annual consumption value ACV. Simply multiply 48,000 into 5, you will get 2,40,000. 2,000 into 11, you will get 22,000. 300 into 15, you will get 4,500. Like this, you have calculated the annual consumption value or total cost of inventory. This is the first table. Second table, we are rearranging, rearranging the ad items in descending order of ACV, annual consumption value, and calculating cumulative value of ACV. So first of all, we are rearranging in the descending order. The highest cost will be taken first. What is the highest cost? 3,60,000. 3,60,000. Total cost in descending order, 3,60,000. Second highest cost is 2,40,000. Third highest cost is 45,000. Next highest cost is 33,600. Like this in descending order we have taken. For 3,60,000 which is the item, item number 107. So 107. For 2,40,000 item number 101. For 45,000 item number 109. Then 33,600 the item number is 105. Like this we have arranged in descending order of ACV. Now cumulative percentage of items, totally 10 items are there. The first item, out of 10 items, first item means 10%. Two items, 20%, 30%, 40%, like that we have taken 100% of the items. Right? Now cumulative value of total cost or ACV. After calculating this ACV total cost, now we need the cumulative value. First item will be 3,60,000 as it is. Then 3,60,000 plus 2,40,000, you will get 6 lakh. 6 lakh plus 45,000, 645. 
You will get 6,78,600. Like this, we have found out the cumulative. The total of all the items is 7,37,900. This is the total of all the cost. The total cost of total inventory is 7,37,900. Now we need the cumulative percentage. How much percentage? So 3,60,000 out of the total cost of 7,37,900. The so numerator you take 360,000, denominator you take 737,900. So 360 divided by 737,900 into 100, you will get percentage 48.78. percent Similarly, 6 lakh divided by 737,900 into 100, you will get 81.31. 6 lakh 45,000 divided by 737,900 into 100, you will get 87.4. Like this percentage, percentage of cumulative value we have calculated, right? Now we can, since the basis for ABC classification is not given in the data, assume the following data. So normally, normally it is seen that 70% of the items will go in A category, next 20% will be in B category and the last 10% of the items will be in the C category category. This is the normal classification of items in ABC analysis. Now we find out how many items, which are the items which come under A, which items will come under B and what are the items that comes under C. This we have to calculate by taking the percentage. <coughs> that is 70% of the total cost will go in A category. Next to 20% of the items of the total cost will be taken in B category. And the remaining all the items will be taken in C category items. Now category A. 70% of the total cost. The total cost is 7,37,900. So 70% of 737,900 you will get 5,16,530. Now find out 5,63,530 in the cumulative value. In the cumulative value we don't have exactly 5,16,530. But we have 6 lakh. This 6 lakh is very near to 5 lakh 16,530. Since this value is nearer to cumulative cost of ACV, that is 6 lakh. So item 6 lakh means the cumulative of first item and second item. Which is the first item? 107 and 101. So 107 and 101 will be taken in category A. So out of the total items, two items will fall in A category. It constitutes more than 70%. More than 70%. Actually, 70% comes to 516,630. But the two, two, the two items combined together, the value is 6 lakh. So more than 70% is uh, taken by these two items, 107 and 101. Now, category B. For category B, check what is the total of A and B. 70% A, 20% B. So 90% of the items will be taken by A and B. So 90% of the total cost of ACV. ACV is 7,37,900. So 90% of 7,37,900 you are getting 6,64,110. Now locate in the cumulative value. Exactly this figure you won't get. Nearest to this 6,64,110. So 6,64,110 is very near to 6,78,600. 6,78,600. Now which are the two items which will come in B category? 109 and 105. The so first four uh, items will be in A category and B category. A category we will have 107 and 101. B category we have 109 and 105. The total of this comes to 91.96 percentage of the total value of inventory. Now remaining all items. After leaving this 105, the remaining 102, 106, 104, 110, 103, 108. All the remaining items will be taken in C category. Now categorization of items will be A category 107 and 101. Right? 107, 101. B category items 109 and 105 and the remaining all items that is 102, 106, 104, 110, 103, 108 all these items will be taken in 
C category. In this way, we have classified all the 10 items into A category, B category and C category. Now, construction of ABC analysis graph. After classifying the items, it will be better to present this data in a graphical format. That is ABC analysis graph. For exact percentage of ACV of category A. Now, we will find out exact category. Because the total is 5 lakh 16 530, but we have rounded off to 6 lakh. So 6 lakh divided by 737 900 into 181.31%. Here you can see the cumulative percentage of first and second item is 81.31%. Now exact percentage of A plus B. A plus B means four items. The first four items, the percentage come to 91.96%. How 91.96%? 6 lakh 78 600 divided by 737 900. 678 600 divided by 737 900 into 100. You will get 91.96%. Right? Now we need only for B category. So from A from the total of A and B, we subtract A items. The total of A and B category items are 91.96%. From 91.96% we subtract A category. A category is 81.31. So 91.96 minus 81.31 you will get 10.65%. 10.65% of the total value will be in B category. Now remaining item will be in C category. So from the total 100% we subtract A plus B. The A plus B is 91.96. So 100 minus 91.96 percent, it comes to 8.04 percent of the total inventory value that will go in C category. So in simple words, A category only two items are there, only 20 percent of items are there, and 20 percent of items is taking 81.31 percent. B category again 20 percent because two items are there. 20% of items, it is taking 10.65%. Uh, and the remaining 8 items, 80% of items having a total cost of 8.04%. Now we are presenting the information about A category, B category and C category uh, information on the graph. How the graph will look like regarding the classification of A, B and C. So before that, we calculate the percentage, cumulative percentage of items, cumulative percentage of item. Items are 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 10. The item number in descending order is 107, 101. Already we have calculated in descending order what are the percentage, what are the items. The first item 107, this is the highest cost, highest value item. The next highest value item was 101, then 109. These are the different items. Now we need the percentage. First item, total number of items are 10. So 1 by 10 into 100, 10%. Two items, 2 by 10 into 100, 20%. Three items, 3 by 10 into 100, 30%. 40%, 50, 60, up to 100%. These are the cumulative percentage of items. Now we present the information on a graph. On the graph paper on x-axis, we will take percentage of items. On y-axis, we will take percentage of annual consumption value or percentage of total cost, right? The first 20%, first two items, 107 and 101, these two items are falling in the A category items. So 20% of the items, so here 20% is item. And what is the percentage of value? Already we have calculated a percentage of items of first two values, 81.31%. So here, this is 80%. Just above 80%, 81.31%. Now, draw a dotted perpendicular line. So this is A category items. It consists of 20% of items, but the value is 81.31%. Next comes B category. Again, B category items, so we have only two items. That is uh, item number 109 and 105. These two items. Next 20%. First 20% over. The next 20%. If you combine A and B, it comes to 91.96%. A and B combined together. 
this to 40 percent 40 percent of items will take a value of 91.96 percent this is about above 90 percent above 90 percent 91.96 put a dot here and draw dotted perpendicular line on x-axis so 40 percent of items first 20 percent a category the next 20 percent b category items and the remaining from 40 percent to 100 percent all the remaining items will fall in c category items so this will take 100 percent of the value and 100 percent of items this is called c category item so a category 20 percent of items B category for 20% of items, remaining 60% of items will fall in C category item. This is a graphical presentation of ABC analysis. So we have completed the topic inventory control and stores management. For this topic, in five videos, I have explained you the complete theory concepts regarding what is inventory control, what are the decisions of inventory control and what are the techniques available to control the inventory like EOQ, ABC analysis, selective method of controlling the inventory. All these things I have explained in the first five videos. Then totally six videos I have prepared for problems. In this varied type of problems like uh, calculating the EOQ, whether availing the discount or not, then we have, uh, I mean, uh, we have done the problems on different levels like reordering level, maximum level, minimum level, average stock level. Then we have one, done one problem on selective method of controlling the inventory that is ABC analysis. This marks the end of the topic inventory control and stores management in the subject operations management. Inshallah, in the next video, we'll start the next topic of the subject operations management so if you are satisfied give a like to the video share my channel among your friends among your group so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge have the confidence on the subject and subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed so inshallah we'll take up the next topic in the next video